Today's heavy rain is likely the cause of a crane collapse at a Delray construction site. The crane narrowly missed tri-rail train tracks and I-95. News Channel 5's Alana Quillen in Delray Beach to show us more. You can see the damaged crane a little better now after storms knocked down this fence a couple of hours ago, but take a look at this mess. The crane fell around 10 o'clock this morning. It took out all of these power lines and a transformer along with it, knocking out power to hundreds of workers in this office building right next door. This is what Chad Zinkin saw when he came to work. It's pretty uh, wild. A large crane base partially sunken into the wet ground. The crane has already previously fell, probably from the storms last night. So I guess they tried to move it. This construction site sits right next door yeah, to Zinkin's office. Line. He watched with horror when workers tried to move it. The crane then buckled and crashed to the ground. It hit the power lines across the railroad tracks, and then everyone started running this way. Crews worked in the pouring rain to pull the crane apart and away from the power lines. No one was hurt and no major damage done, but neighboring businesses are bracing to lose thousands of dollars in revenue after sending hundreds of workers home. We spoke with Zankin's telecommunications employees in the dark. Appointments for callbacks where, you know, those those deals are worth uh, thousands of dollars. While FPL was able to restore power several hours later, businesses hope they can recoup the losses. People have bills to pay. Many of our employees, you know, unfortunately live paycheck to paycheck. A very unfortunate turn of events has turned into a huge loss for not only employees, employees, but the companies as well. Construction company Kaufman Lynn is trying to build a storage facility here. Now, operator Stuart Crane Company had told me they've been in business for 13 years and haven't had anything like this happen before. None of the workers would speak to me on camera. Reporting in Delray Beach, Shalana Quillen, WPTV News Channel 5.